Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show, and welcome to my contribution to the Mini War Mutt Painting Challenge for September 23. Everything I painted this month was from the Shadows of Brimstone Kickstarter that I just got in the mail a couple of months ago. Finally got some models put together and painted. Everything was painted with the Army Painters Speed Point 2.0 paint set, and thank you to everybody who helped me actually get that into my hot little hands. I used almost nothing but Army Painter Speed Point uh, Speed Paint, excuse me. Uh, except I did use some Citadel Tesseract Glow. It's a technical paint for all the greens that you see in the the like here and here and here and the eyes on these little guys right here. I also used up a whole bottle of. Citadel's Valhalla and Blizzard, which is the snow effects you'll see on the bases of all the miniatures. Starting off with my favorite model that I did this month, which was the Serpent King on the Katari Beast. Then the Frost Giant, which I think turned out really, really good. What was this thing called again? The Archive Guardian. The Hell Bears, the Tredaren Gladiators, the Harvester Drill Team, Fenris Wolves, Targa Pylons 2.0, I think, or something like that, the Targa Centurions, I'm going to brutalize that name, the Felugor, or something like that, Slayers, which I tried to do some object source lighting trying to make it look like the light from the battle axes was lighting them up green. Then the Shadow Lurkers and that's what I got done this month. Mind you, I didn't start painting until after the 15th of the month, so I got these 30 models done in about two weeks and to be honest, I did most of my painting while on camera with various shows like Table Breakers and Gatekeepers and during uh, some, of, some of the live chats that I did this, this month as well. But that was because I was waiting for the paints to get in. I really wanted to try the speed paints out. And as you can see, they, they really uh, were definitely worth the money. Definitely worth trying out if you've never tried them out before. I did, of course, use a little bit of Vallejo and Army Painter for all the dry brushing effects. Uh, because the speed paints really aren't great for that. Um, you, you, can, you can still do a little bit of dry brushing with the speed paints, but you really have to really get a lot of it off the brush, unlike other paints where you can still have it, you know, uh, kind of, you know, liquidy. But the speed paints, I, I really don't recommend for dry brushing. But thanks to Mini Warmut and special thanks to Brian from Weird World War II for voluntolding me into the <laughs> this, this paint challenge. I really needed to get some of these done. I've only got another hundred more uh, Shadows of Brimstone miniatures to get painted by the end of the year before the next Kickstarter comes in that I paid for last year. And that's 400 more minis. So next year is going to be all kinds of dungeons and lasers. So wish me luck. I'm going to need it because there are a lot more minis to paint in less than three months. So thanks everybody for stopping by and playing along. We love you guys. We will see you in about an hour for the sci-fi shadow chat free for all thanks justin for coming up with the idea of just doing a you know a, a no topic uh, shadow chat uh, to round out the month we'll see you guys in about an hour thanks again and happy trails